70% of the credit reports have a blemish on them. You want to know what you can do about it? Because you're probably you're pre pretty upset right now, right? Wow, they have all this inaccurate information on me. I'm ticked off. When you're ticked off, you start listening to public enemy, right? Gets you riled up. You want to be like Chuck D. You want to fight the power, right? Here's what your options are. You can write a letter to the bureaus. Now, I have very sad news for you. There is no Easter Bunny. There is no Santa Claus. And there also is not like a big room where they dump all of your heartfelt letters into, where someone's peeling them open, reading them and going, oh, his girlfriend left him and the dog? Because of his five, oh, hold on. Let me log in and ch oh, I'll change this right now. Hello, Mr. President of the City Bank. I need this change now. That doesn't happen. That does not happen. If you, you can also, hey, say you're, you, you caught that catchy commercial with that song. Da, 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 and you're like, hey, I'm going to check out my score. <clears throat> you go and look at it and you go, oh, this information is inaccurate. I'm, I'm mad. I'm like Chuck D, Flavor Flav mad. I want to go out in the street and fight the power, get Spike Lee in on it. Now, they make it very easy for you to click online. Dispute this information here. Here's what happens. You click the little dispute button saying, hey, this is not right. And they have a very thorough, accurate investigation that happens afterwards. The law requires it. The Fair Credit Reporting Act says that they must conduct a fair and thorough investigation into anything that you do. And you want to believe that that is, is going to give a real fair and thorough and accurate investigation, right? If it did, I wouldn't exist. I'd be like in Back to the Future when Marty like, is fading out of the picture. If they actually did a fair and thorough, accurate investigation, I would cease to be here. But the fact is, I'm growing, I'm growing at a rapid, rapid, rapid pace because they don't do that. So here's what happens. You click the little dispute button and a computer at the bureau level will speak to a computer at the creditor end and say, hey, you sent over this information saying that this account belonged to Jim Smith. Is that accurate? Well, if that's what I told you, then that's what I meant. It's accurate. Then the computer at the bureau level issues a three-digit code, sends out a letter to you stating, we've investigated this thoroughly, and we found out that it's accurate. And then the bureau will charge the creditor money for performing that investigation, for having to look into it. So they make money every time you click dispute, 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 dispute. Or if you write a letter into them, dispute, 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 dispute. They love it. Every time they're hearing cha-ching, 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 because you're disputing information. And they have to go through that very lengthy process to make sure that it's accurate information. Why having a computer talk to a computer? That's it. That meets the requirements of the Fair Credit Reporting Act for their investigation purposes. So now you're saying, you know what? I'm not gonna write a letter. Because if you do write a letter, here's what happens. If you, you say, I'm not going to go through that, that system online, I'm going to write a real heartfelt letter. You break it out, you, you, you pour your heart out into this thing. You make it an 18-page manifesto on how this information is inaccurate. And you send that in. Here's what happens. There's a system called eOscar. It's very well known. eOscar will first scan the envelope they want to make sure that it's not coming from some dispute factory type thing where they just mail out letters. Because then they don't even have to respond to it. They just call it frivolous. If it makes it past that stage, then what they do is the computer will slice open the envelope, put it on a flatbed, scan it, and then a computer will determine the appropriate response. And if the response is that they need to investigate something, they go through that very elaborate step that I mentioned before, where the computer will talk to the other computer and say, yep, I sent you this information, that's what I meant. 
Case closed, end of story. That's exactly what happens. So now what happens if you pick up the phone and call the bureaus? Do you think that they have someone sitting here in America somewhere that's, that's eager to listen to your complaints and help you rectify your errors? They are there to help you, just like the government. The government's there to help you. Wrong. They're going to try to feed you through an automated system. Now, describe if you want more examples of this system in depth, the New York Times wrote an awesome article about a year ago called It Pays to Be a VIP. Send me an email and I'll send you back a link to that along with the curriculum for today's class. Not only just the curriculum, it'll actually be a presentation that's very dynamic. So the New York Times wrote an article about this explaining the system and E. Oscar in its detail and glory. Don't take my word for it. This is exactly what happens. And they know that. So now, you can't call them and you can't write them. How are you supposed to dispute it? 